Yo, what's going on you guys? My name is Owen and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are all having a great day so far. Today's video is going to be a showcase of my current pant rotation. I did one of these videos last year and you guys loved it. So I figured why not do an updated a showcase of what's in my current cycle, I guess. By the way, let me know if you guys like this current setup. I'm just switching up the vibe a little bit. I figured I should probably do an updated studio slash office tour relatively soon since I haven't done a proper showcase of it since I like first moved in. So yeah, if you guys wanna see that, let me know. Uh, maybe I'll do that for the next video or the video after that. And also real quick, I did want to throw out a question of the day for everybody to answer it down in the comments below. And that question is, what is your favorite movie of 2023? The Oscars just wrapped up and Oppenheimer won Best Picture. So I'm just curious to hear what your favorite movie that came out in 2023 is. Let me know down in the comments below. My personal favorite movie would probably have to be Poor Things. I think just overall, it ticked all the boxes for me. I gave it a five out of five on Letterboxd. I think it was phenomenal. And yeah, that wraps it up for that. I'm gonna head downstairs and grab the first pair of pants and we'll get right into the video. Okay, so starting off with the first pair of pants, these are a pair of M65 cargo pants that I actually wasn't really wearing that much. I feel like they were at the end of their cycle in my wardrobe. And I figured something I wanted to try um, to sort of like breathe more life into them to see if I can extend the lifespan of them in my wardrobe is by cutting off the sort of like bottom third of each leg to kind of turn them into long line uh, shorts or capris, whatever you want to call them. And that was probably the best decision I could have made because I've gotten so much wear out of these in the past month or two. They have kind of become a staple um, as it gets a little bit warmer here in LA. And when I first cut them, it was sort of like a straight edge cut, but now over time, since I've worn them so much, um, you got like some nice like loose threads going on. The shape is really interesting because the M65 cargo silhouette has these four like pleats on the knees of both legs um, that come in sort of like an X shape. And I actually undid the thread on each of those tacks as well. So it kind of creates like this weird like ballooning effect almost where the pant doesn't just like sit like a tube on your leg. It almost like cinches in in some areas, which is kind of cool. Adds a lot of texture and dimension. The M65 cargos, I'm pretty sure you can get online for like 65 bucks brand new, or you could go the vintage route. Um, I believe I actually got these brand new at least two years ago, I want to say. Um, I could probably find the clip on YouTube actually of like when I first picked these. Yeah, these have gotten so much wear. I've washed them probably a hundred times at this point. So the color is like really nice and faded. Um, it's got these two like really awesome flap pockets that sort of sit at an angle on the front that have some snaps. It's got your standard cargo pocket on each thigh and then it's got two snap flat pockets on the back side as well. And then also like two waist adjusters, which is actually really clutch. And I pretty much use them every time I wear these. And yeah, oh yeah, one more interesting thing is that the uh, zipper fly for some reason has like this extra sort of like tassel thing going on, which is just like an added dimension that I think is really cool. So if you were looking to go down the Capri route and you didn't want to splash like a couple hundred dollars on a pair of like designer shorts like that, I would highly recommend going down the vintage route and then just cutting them yourself. I started off longer and then I just kept shortening it until I found the length that sit perfectly. Really quick, simple process and I just used some scissors as well. I didn't want to like finish off the seam or anything. So yeah, that is the first pair, the M65 Cargo Capris. Definitely curious to hear what your guys' thoughts are on Capris in general, because I know it's sort of divisive. But personally, I think they're really cool. And let's move on to the next pair. Okay, so this next pair, I didn't really know where to put it in this video, since it doesn't have a price. They're not for sale or anything. Um, these are a pair of pants that were put together by my friend Nico, who used to work at Unsound Rags. He designs his own clothes now, and he made like a small batch run of some pants, and he graciously gave me a pair. These are a cotton twill pair of straight leg trousers that have some really cool like subtle details. They fit incredible, like I am obsessed with how these fit on me. They have two little pleats up front, and then they have like two extra long darts that kind of like run down the thigh on each side, which is really sick. Two pockets up front, two button welt pockets on the back. 
And then one of my favorite details that I didn't notice at first and probably would have taken me so long to notice it is that there's a little hidden zipper pocket on, what is this, the left leg. So it's like a little stash pocket. It has a little hidden zipper so you kind of stash whatever you want in there. Just a nice added detail, something that you would not expect to have on a pair of pants. But yeah, again, these just fit incredible and I'm really stoked on them. So thank you so much, Nick, for dropping these off for me. Appreciate it, dude. All right, this next pair is sort of a twofer because it comes in two inseam lengths, so it's a little bit different, but it's two inseam lengths per waist size. And this is the next release from my clothing brand, Somar. If you've been following the brand for a minute, then you guys know about these because I've teased them quite a lot. These are the Somar triple waxed apparel tassel trousers. They're finally here, they're finally coming. They're dropping this month on the 31st at 10 a.m. PST. I'm just over the moon about these. They're so fucking sick. They come in two inseam lengths per waist size. Right now I'm currently wearing the 37 inch inseam, but they also come in a 33 inseam per waist size. I've been wearing both and I kind of switch up which pair I'm gonna wear based on like the outfit, I guess. But yeah, you can see on the, even on the 33, there's some really nice heel bite. Sort of the intention is that if you're on the shorter side, you should go with the 33 inseam. And then if you're on the taller side, you should go for the 37 for like the intended fit. And these have an entirely, entirely different fit than the other tassel trousers we've dropped in the past. And they're also a completely different material. These are a 13.5 ounce enzyme wash denim that been triple waxed. So basically the pants are waxed and they have to dry for a couple weeks, waxed, dry for a couple weeks, and then wax a third time and dry again. Um, so it's a very long process. They have two zipper welt pockets with these extra long tassels that hang off the front. And then it has one zipper welt pocket that is on the backside. They have a really nice like flared leg opening, um, but it's still like a wide leg fit. So it's a little bit different than the other tassel pants. The other tassel pants I'd say are more of like a slimmer fit. These are more of a baggy fit and they also drape entirely different because of how heavy this material is. Even though it's 13.5 ounce denim, which is already like pretty heavy for denim, the three wax coatings on top of it make it so much heavier. I don't know if you guys can see the amount of heel bite I have going on, the 37 pair. It's kind of nuts, but yeah, that's why I love these pants. One more detail I forgot to mention is the custom Somar button fly. Extremely comfortable. I do recommend going true to size, by the way. Like the the size 30 is like a true 31. That's just how I wanted everything to fit. And yeah, I would just recommend going true to size if you can. It's pretty limited, especially per inseam length. Follow the Somar page for the full rollout. I probably will be doing one more video and showcasing the jacket as well to give it its proper glory. Yeah, again, March 31st, don't be late. Okay, next up is another Somar item. Uh, so I'm not gonna talk about these too much because I've already done showcases before. You guys know what these are. These are the Somar Ahab denim. Um, this is my personal pair that I still wear pretty much nonstop. They're like the perfect pair of wide leg jeans with a subtle flare. Um, this is the raw denim version and they've just broken in so beautifully. I love how the denim sort of has like drape now. When I first got them, they're just so stiff and you know, just through months of wear and tear, as you can tell from the heel bite. Yeah, they've just broken in beautifully. We are working on more versions of the Ahab denim in the future, but that won't be for a while. I did not know this was gonna be as hot as it was. The quick drop pockets are probably my favorite detail, so that's gonna stay consistent with all like future versions that we end up doing. But yeah, I just wanted to showcase that real quick since these are indeed in my current rotation. They still get a shit ton of wear. All right, so I've been really into like extra long shorts recently, and I bought these pretty much with the intention of just wearing them as shorts. These are the Entire Studios zip off convertible cargo pants, but I pretty much only wear them with the bottom part of the leg actually zipped off. So I only wear them as shorts. I believe they're on the website for $319. And I wanted to give them a try. I've never bought anything from Entire Studios before. To run over some of the details, they have two welt pockets on the side. They have two zipper welt pockets on the back. 
and they sort of have like this asymmetrical tilted cargo pocket that sits on the front of each leg that I don't really use too much because otherwise my pants would be falling down non-stop, but it's nice that they're there. Um, and then like I mentioned, they do come with a like bottom extension for each leg, which I think does have cargo pockets on it. I could be wrong. Um, I honestly don't know because as soon as I got these in, I just zipped off the bottom of the leg and I've only worn them as shorts. And then one of my favorite details is actually the button fly. It has like this kind of like curved asymmetrical button fly that overlaps two snaps and then a little zipper pocket. The sizing is a little weird. I got a size small and they're still like massive on me. I probably should have gone extra small, but I just wear a belt. This is the black colorway, but it's sort of like a blue black, I want to say, which kind of sucks because I hate when stuff kind of fades to blue black. But for the time being, they're made out of really stiff cotton canvas material. And I also forgot to mention that they do have two darts that come from the outside of the welt pockets towards the thigh, which is kind of sick. Lots of like little hidden details, and I'll probably end up buying more stuff from entire studios in the future. Who knows? So the next two pair of pants I'm gonna show in like quick fire back to back, just because they're basically the exact same pair of jeans, but in two very slightly different variations. First up are the Rick Owens Dark Shadow Geth cargo denim in the 16 ounce selvage denim. I showed these, I think in my last video, I'm still breaking these in. 16 ounce denim is a nightmare to break in. They're so stiff still, even though I have an insane amount of heel bite going on these, they're just so stiff and they're not like the most comfortable to wear still, but they're starting to get there. But yeah, they're sort of like a wide leg baggy pair of jeans, kind of similar to the Ahab denim, but not quite the same. And then they have the classic like Rick Owens cargo pocket sitting on the front thighs of each leg. And then it has two cargo pockets on the back. Those are like the major differences between the cargo denim and then this neck pair, which are just like these standard 16 ounce Geth jeans that they do in a lot of different materials now, but this is the 16 ounce self denim as well. I got these used a while ago, so they're already like pretty much broken in, but I've definitely put in a good amount of wear myself. These ones are a lot more standard than the Geth cargo denim, so they have like your standard jean pocket instead of like the welt pockets on the side. And and then they also have two back pockets instead of cargo pockets, but not they're the exact same. Uh, the 16 ounce selvage denim is pretty hard to come by. For the most part, I think they're like sold out, but I think I wanna say that they're like restocking here and there on a few different sites. I've been able to feel a lot of the other materials that Rick has done for the Geth denim and easily the 16 ounce is the best. I think it fits the actual leg shape perfectly. It has like the right amount of drape and everything. So yeah. Those are the Rick Geth denim. Okay, and last but certainly not least are probably the newest acquisition that I have, but also the most expensive pair in this video. These are the Acne Studios 1981 painted canvas denim. These are such a wild pair of jeans. I don't own anything like this in my wardrobe. And I'm so happy I picked these up because I think they're so well done. So these are actually canvas pants that have this really awesome printed effect to make it look like it's another pair of pants. This execution is called Trompe l'oeil, which is a French like art style where it's meant to like fool the eye. And as you can tell, a lot of these details are actually printed on. So it has a faux open button fly, whereas the actual button fly is right there. It has a faux like denim pocket right there. It's got belt loops printed on it. It's got rivets printed on. And then obviously the main detail is like this painted sort of effect that's printed all over the denim. On the back side, it has a printed patch, which is really sick that says Acne Studios. And then it also has double printed back pockets. So these do have back pockets, but they also have a separate back pocket printed on there in like a misaligned fashion, which is really sick. Besides the button fly, the most misaligned detail, which I love, is probably the back seam right there. 
how it has this printed back seam, whereas the actual leg seam is over here. Really sick pair of jeans. I believe these retailed for 700. I managed to get these on discount using a coupon on top of a sale from like a really niche website. It even has repairs printed on. I'm assuming what they have is a real pair of these jeans somewhere in the Acne studio, and they just photographed them up the wazoo and then did like massive screens on each panel and then sewed the jeans together because I don't know how else you'd be able to do this effect. I know a lot of other brands that have done the trompe l'oeil effect just make the denim and then print on whatever the design is on top of the denim instead of I'm printing it on the panels and then sewing it together, which is exactly what Acne did. Anyways, that concludes it for the Acne Studios painted canvas denim. And that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Once again, the Somar Peril release will happen on March 31st at 10 a.m. PST. Do not be late. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below. Write a little comment, it means so much to me. Share the video with a friend. Subscribe if you haven't already. Have a good rest of your day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.